He stood boldly on the word of God. And sometimes when you stand boldly on the word of God, nobody else will understand what you're doing or why you're doing it. But I tell you, my brother and sister, stand still and see the salvation of God. That if you're doing it for God, the righteousness will add up to you. And sooner or later, those that are looking at you will recognize it's really not you, but it's the God that lives in you. And all you got to do is understand that God is living in me. Who am I that anything separate me from the love of God? Not sickness, not death, not death, not weight.
So it's my job every chance I get to preach you into submission. Not into my submission, but into the submission of the Father. That on that great day in the morning, we'll all be able to go in. I don't want to leave anybody behind. I don't want anybody to miss the train. Old folks say, get right, church. So let's go home. Listen, I don't want anybody left behind. But the Bible says that there will be some left behind. Simply because you choose to hold on to your business. That's my business. Why are y'all in my business? We need to find some business of his own. Did y'all do that? Y'all ladies, y'all don't know what that means. Y'all do that. Listen. This is God's business. And God's business says, get it right. God's business says, stop lying on one another. Stop cheating one another. Stop lying with those who aren't your husband and wives. Stop stealing. Stop cheating. Stop looking at stuff that you know you're not supposed to look at. Stop touching things that you shouldn't be touching. Stop going places you shouldn't be going. Stop speaking things you shouldn't be speaking. Now I'm saying that you can put the dot, dot, dot behind it and let it apply to you. Your business is being exposed. And all God is saying, listen, I'll clean up what you messed up. And I'll help you start your life all over again. But you have to admit that you messed up. It's not too late. You can admit today. Father, I, I can't do it. I, I need you to fix this thing for me. And your life can be born again. Listen, scripture is clear that we cast it down by spiritual mindset. We are at war. And we are warring against the enemy who doesn't want us to have life.